All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about Boruto Chapter 35 Preview. But before we do get into this video, I do want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to my sponsors for this video, and it's going to be Kurt Spell. Now, a lot of you guys heard me talk about Kurt Spell before, and the game finally released. And upon release, Kurt Spell is free to play. If you guys have not heard of Kurt Spell before, Kurt Spell is a third person anime inspired battle game created by KOG. KOG is the developers of Grand Chase and also L Sword Online. Curse spell has PvP and PvE. The PvP allows you to team up and play against other teams, and it's not just that, they have objective based games. And also, the PvE allows you to test your skills and also fight against a big boss. Curse spell's character customization is also amazing. Not only do they have a wide variety of appearances for your character, but they allow you to customize your abilities along with the different karmas that you get to choose from. Upon release, Curse spell added plenty of cosmetic items as well, and of course, they're going to be adding a lot more with DLC packages. If you guys are interested in trying out Kurt Spell, there's a link in my description. I highly recommend you guys try it. As I said, it's a free to play game. You guys are not going to regret trying this game out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, first things first, the chapter is going to be released on June 9th. I know it's been a long time. They had to take a month off and I don't know why, but supposedly it's like a quote unquote gold week. To me, I don't care if it was a gold week, silver week, bronze week, red week, yellow week. We should have still got the Boruto chapter, but here we are missing a whole month month now first things first the last chapter didn't necessarily give us a cliffhanger of course they gave us something very interesting where Kawaki finally gets to meet Karma the nine tail fox but still it wasn't necessarily anything too scintillating for example one chapter it left off when Boruto first met Kawaki another chapter left off when Delta confronted Naruto things like that so in the next chapter we don't necessarily know exactly what's going to happen the next chapter is going to have a lot of information just packed into it first things first I feel like they're going to have to add a couple of extra pages especially because there is a month missing the huge problem with the boruto anime right now is the fact that the manga is too close like for example if the boruto anime starts adapting the boruto manga the anime will probably pass the manga within six months and the writers don't want that so because the manga is just so short they have to pack some extra pages into it now one of the biggest things that did happen in the last chapter is the fact that kawaki started training with chakra the one thing i do really want to know in the next chapter of boruto is what kawaki's chakra nature is could it be fire style could it be wind style could it be lightning could it be earth could it be water could it be two of those could he have a keke genkai could he have all five could he have yin and yang things like that that's what i want to know and hopefully we get to find out in the next chapter now in my opinion i feel like kawaki would probably be suited well if he had fire as his natural chakra nature now i didn't necessarily think of boruto when i said fire style it's just that fire style is very home to the hidden leaf village as you guys know the hidden leaf village is the land of fire and of course if kawaki would have fire style it pretty much means that he's made for the hidden leaf and not only that if kawaki Kawaki does have fire style, he could probably pick up some tips and learn something from Sasuke as well because Sasuke is also very good in terms of fire style. Now, an interesting thing in the next chapter is going to be Kawaki's chakra comprehension. As you guys know, usually when students learn how to use chakra, when, usually when students learn how to do ninjutsu, they're very young, they're in academy, and it takes them a very long time to establish a certain ninjutsu or a go to ninjutsu. Now, that whole process might be sped up mainly because Kawaki is extremely experienced in fighting, he's been fighting for all of his life he's like a grown kid right now he's like 12 13 years old so it only makes sense if kawaki would end up learning about ninjutsu or learning a lot more ninjutsu in a shorter period of time and if that does happen i really do want to see exactly what he could do in the next chapter now of course i know kawaki is not going to be anything too crazy in the next chapter he's probably going to have one or two ninjutsus if we're lucky but i really do want to see what he has and staying on the topic of kawaki kawaki definitely needs his own hand because as of right now the prosthetic hand that he does have it's obviously Naruto we talked about it a lot last month when Naruto did make the good gesture to give Kawaki some of his own chakra so Kawaki can actually have a functioning arm now in the next chapter I do want to know if Kawaki is actually going to get a prosthetic arm tailored to him now if that does happen I do want to know what sort of scientific technology is tailored to that arm as you guys know Kawaki's whole body is a scientific technology so there's not necessarily going to be anything too crazy for him to handle so I really don't know if Kataska is probably going to push the limit to see exactly what he can pack into that arm so it can pretty much match match him perfectly one good example of scientific technology going into a prosthetic arm in chapter 16 when naruto actually did spar against boruto by the way if you guys haven't seen that chapter i highly recommend it, it was an elite chapter we got to see a lot of stuff from naruto and from boruto but during that chapter naruto had a prosthetic arm that was able to absorb chakra so katasuke does have the ability to put scientific technologies in an arm now at that time when naruto was able to absorb ninjutsu into his arm that was like a big thing for katasuke mainly because i was still a 
prototype. Katasuka never really created anything like that. But now in the case of Kawaki, Kawaki naturally has the ability to absorb chakra through his hand. So now Katasuke has to basically push the limits to impress a guy like Kawaki. And of course, knowing Katasuke, he wants to push the limits. He wants to show off his scientific technology to a new character like Kawaki. And even though, of course, we hate a character like Katasuke, I do want to know what he has in store for Kawaki. Now, in the next chapter, we can't expect them to talk a lot more about the Karma Seal. In the last chapter, a couple of things were confirmed. One of the more important things that was confirmed is the fact that there are only two other people outside of Boruto who have the Karma Seal. There's a dialogue between Jigen and Delta where Delta told Jigen that, hey, other than you and Kawaki, Boruto also has a Karma Seal. So I'm guessing that it's only those three in the whole anime that has a Karma Seal as of right now. I know there's a time before all this where we kind of assume that a lot of people in the Kata organization possibly had the Karma Seal. And it's the same thing with Kawaki as well. I'm not sure if Kawaki really knows how many people have the Karma Seal, mainly because when he's seen Boruto activate the Karma Seal for the first time, Kawaki thought that confirmed that Boruto was with the Kata organization. So Kawaki himself doesn't really know how many people have this karma seal but i'm guessing delta herself just admitted that there are only two people amongst the kata organization that have the karma seal and it's jigen and kawaki now the board to manga in the past couple of chapters have been very famous with them panning to the scene of the kata organization hideout and having all the characters there just talking amongst each other and because of those scenes we got so much information and of course we can expect the same thing to happen in the next chapter as well and they definitely will be talking about the karma seal now one of the other things that they did mention when they were having their dialogue was the fact that Boruto and Kawaki's karma seal feed off of each other. Now of course we all know that the karma seal gives you a natural power boost but I'm thinking that Delta just confirmed that on top of that natural power boost Boruto and Kawaki get another power boost mainly because their karma seals feed off of each other. Now of course we picked up on this a lot mainly because every time Kawaki would activate his karma seal Boruto would activate his karma seal. During one of the most popular fights with Kawaki when we first got to see Kawaki in action, he fought against one of the outsiders of the Kata organization. Now when Kawaki activated his karma seal, Boruto automatically activated his karma seal. Like Boruto wasn't fighting anybody, Boruto wasn't doing anything to anybody, he just activated his karma seal. I'm guessing it's not necessarily totally linked. The last time Boruto activated his karma seal, for one, Kawaki's karma seal was not being activated at that same time as well, and also Kawaki's karma seal wasn't triggered by Boruto's karma seal either so they're not totally linked but i'm guessing because boruto is not used to activating his karma seal his automatically pops up when kawaki does activate his karma seal as well i probably said karma seal 50 times in the past three minutes and we're going to continue on with that trend now in the last chapter a big thing was made out of momoshiki's involvement with boruto now here's the thing i feel like momoshiki is not necessarily going to be totally involved with boruto now the overwhelming theory is the fact that momoshiki is possibly going to take over boruto's body I strongly disagree. Now here's where this comes from. Jigen was thinking to himself that Momoshiki left behind a vessel. That's exactly what he said. And we got this famous frame right here. Now, of course, a lot of people have been making fan arts about this. But as I was rereading the chapter, I personally feel like that's what Jigen was picturing in his mind. I don't necessarily know if that's going to actually happen or if that's going to actually come through to fruition. If you guys are confused with what a vessel was, it's similar to what Orochimaru had vessels for in the past. And he currently still does have vessels. Let's talk about it in terms of Jigen and Kawaki. When Kawaki does grow up and when Kawaki does basically have a perfect body or when Jigen's body does deteriorate, Jigen is probably going to try to enter Kawaki's body and Jigen is going to live on through Kawaki's body. Orochimaru did this a lot mainly because Orochimaru wanted to be invincible he didn't want to die mainly because Orochimaru wanted to master all the jutsus that there were to master we don't really know Jigen's motives behind this but one can expect that Jigen probably wants to be immortal and he does want to live forever but I strongly doubt Momoshiki is doing the same thing to Boruto because Momoshiki spoke a lot about Boruto's fate and not only that Momoshiki was giving Boruto advice so it kind of seems like Momoshiki wants to groom Boruto for something bigger so that's just my opinion some of you guys might have a different opinion some of you guys might think that Momoshiki is gonna eventually take Boruto's body and I can't tell you guys that you're wrong but in my opinion I feel like Momoshiki is probably going to end up guiding Boruto throughout his adventures especially when he does grow older. We know that Momoshiki is still sort of connected to Boruto mainly because when Boruto shook Kawaki's hand or when they were finished sparring Momoshiki popped up like he flashed and I'm guessing that might have actually been a warning to Boruto mainly because Momoshiki himself can see Boruto's future. 
Momoshiki might be trying to warn Boruto like, hey, this guy is trouble, you shouldn't be hanging around with him. And that's just the start of Momoshiki's mentorship towards Boruto. Now in this specific situation, they can be talking a lot more about Momoshiki in the future. Mainly because if Jigen does expect Momoshiki to take over Boruto's body, they're gonna have to formulate a plan upon how they can stop that for one and two, if it does come to fruition, how they can actually beat Momoshiki. Nevertheless, the next chapter of Boruto is gonna be extremely interesting. I don't expect there to be a lot of action i don't expect kashi code to attack naruto i don't expect any of that but what i do expect is a lot of information to be thrown out some well needed information especially after two months of no manga content and i really hope that we get at least like 70 pages in the next chapter as you guys know normally in the boruto chapter we usually get about 40 pages i'm hoping for at least 70 pages mainly because we did miss a month and the manga does need to keep pumping out a lot of content so they can build their distance from the anime but let me know what you guys think about the next chapter in the comment section below it's been your boy bar b and we out it's a knife Shut my clock i can't stop fuck around make my 40 pop no pop con i pop pistols leaving my body clothing no issue bitch you look sick you need a tissue you drop a body i just might bless you i'm at your sexual no high cholesterol where's any crib bitch just get sexual